focus to some other breaking developments now coming in. And this is as far as the aftermath of what is taking place in Himachal Pradesh. Now we are understanding the key highway is also completely closed and it's shut off. So connectivity has taken a toll. Roads have been blocked and water supply has been hit as well. We've been getting you non-stop ground reports of what the ground situation looks like. It really hasn't changed in the last 24 hours. The Mandi Pathan Court Highway is the one we're referring to, which we are now understanding is completely shut off. So there is going to be a big price for the local residents to pay who still continue to be stuck in areas that are impacted. Let's also now bring in our colleague Yash, who in fact has been tracking these developments, is on ground zero. Yash, good morning. As we pointed out, the situation really hasn't changed for the better. Now we're understanding connectivity has taken a hit as well. Could you talk to us about the roads, the highways that are now completely shut or blocked? Oh, well, Ridhima, the situation is real bad here in Himachal Pradesh. And in particular, I would want to start by showing you the visuals from Zuken. This is the Sugen uh, Panchayat area. In fact, this is uh, in Mandi. You can see... So this was the very place where that very first cloud burst took place in Mandi, which was on 13th of August in the early morning around um, 5 or 6 a.m. when in fact that cloud burst happened and after that, this is what you see is uh, uh, what is left behind after that cloud burst. The locals here have to say that uh, almost uh, um, uh, two to three homes were affected on this very range, and in fact, it's a lucky, uh, it's very, it's very lucky for them, and it's very fortunate that no more houses were affected. But you can see over here the kind of destruction which has happened over here, in particular in Zuken Panchayat. In fact, uh, uh, there were three homes, in fact, which were um, in the uh, in the chain and in the line of that very cloud burst. In fact, from the very top of that hill, that very cloud burst happened and till here uh, the, it left the trail of destruction. In fact, this was the home which was the first to actually um, get, got affected by this very cloud burst. You can see uh, uh, how uh, stones entered this very home, how this entire actually uh, you know, from one area, how one wall collapsed and in fact the home, home was completely, completely destroyed by that uh, very uh, flash flood which occurred due to the cloud burst. Now locals here say uh, that this entire village has been vacated because this is under the red zone. They say that uh, this entire area is very unsafe as of now. You can see the kind of destruction which has been done over here. How uh, you can see how trees being uprooted. In fact, uh, um, before uh, uh, this uh, cloud burst happened, what we are given to understand, this was a normal road where the people used to commute. But now you can see this place has entirely uh, changed into a ghost valley over here. In fact, these stones, they were were not here they, these stones actually rolled down from the top and in fact uh, uh, the silver lining in this entire case is that uh, no one was injured gravely injured and no casualty was reported from this very spot uh, the worry saying the worry something to worry is that uh, the water is still coming from the upper zones which actually creates a lot of problem for these people because with water um, uh, the the stones also come down to this very place and in fact there is a current in the water there is a heavy pressure in the water and that is why this entire situation is very sensitive. In fact, I have uh, uh, the person whose home has been affected by this. Sir, I want to understand you. I want to understand you. First, tell me, when did this happen exactly and what happened and where did you go at that time? Actually, it's like that in the morning, about 6.30 o'clock, when we woke up, people started to sing and started to sing that the cloud has burst. और जो मिट्टी की एक स्मेल जैसी होती है वो हम सब ने उसको महसूस किया और तभी हम सभी लोग घर से वहाँ से भागे और जो एडजॉइनिंग हमारे पास वहाँ पर घर थे उसकी स्लैब के ऊपर खड़े होकर के देखने लगे कि क्या हुआ जितना भी ये डैमेज हुआ है इसका मंजर हमने अपनी आंखों से देखा हुआ है और ये सारा का सारा जो हमारा घर जो भ्रष्ट हुआ है वो जो त्रासदी है इसको हमने अपनी आँखों से देखा है और ये बहुत ही दुखद है कि प्रशासन के लोग जो थे वो स्टेट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट वाले लोग भी यहाँ अब तक जब तक आप रिपोर्टिंग कर रहे हैं तब तक यहाँ कोई नहीं आया हुआ है और हमारा सरकार से निवेदन रहेगा कि इस पूरी के पूरी जोन में क्योंकि हर जगह दरारें आ गई हैं और सरकार से मेरा निवेदन रहेगा कि इसका जियोलॉजिकल सर्वे करवाया जाए ताकि लोगों में जो दहशत है वो ख़त्म हो सके और लोग जो हैं वो यहाँ पर रह सकें अगर ये बर्थ प्लेस जो है वो रहने लायक नहीं बचा है 
तो सरकार इसका सर्वे करवा करके हमें उचित मुआवजा दे लोगों को ताकि इनका वो पुनर्वास कर सके मैम मैं समझ पा रहा हूँ बहुत ही कठिन समय है आप लोगों के लिए मैं देख रहा हूँ पूरा घर जिस तरीके से इफेक्टेड है आपका आप क्या उस समय घर पे थे हाँ जी घर पे ही थे हम लोग बेसिकली हमारा घर दूसरी जगह है लेकिन जो हमारा होम घर है वो यही है तो हम सब लोग ये मेरा परिवार है पूरा तो मैं तीन तीन जगह की त्रासदी झेल रही हूँ जहाँ ये घर है वो भी खतरे में है ये गांव पूरा मेरा दूसरी जगह जहाँ डिस्ट्रिक्ट हमीरपुर में बना है वो भी सारी सिर जो है वो मेरे घर में घुस गई है तीसरी जगह जहाँ हम बेटी की शादी की है वो भी तो उसमें रेड जोन में खाली करवा दिए गए हैं वो भी दूसरों के घर में शेल्टर लिए हुए हैं तो आप समझ सकते हैं कि हमारी मानसिक स्थिति जो है इस समय बहुत दर्दनीय है और दुखनीय है अब रात को नींदे नहीं आ रही हैं वही मंजर सामने आ रहे हैं और इतना देख के हम मेरी जो बहू है वो उस समय बेचारी एट्थ मंथ था प्रेगनेंट प्रेगनेंसी में तो उसको हमने जे भी लगवा के तब उसको बाहर निकाला तो इतना भयानक वो दृश्य था कि अभी भी रात को सो नहीं हम लोग पा रहे हैं और मेंटली मतलब इतने डिस्टर्ब हो चुके हैं कि कुछ नहीं नज़र आ रहा है और एक तो सब कुछ घर बार लुट गए ऊपर से सारा रेड जोन में अभी तक कोई भी प्रशासनिक अधिकारी जो है वो उस पर एक्शन नहीं ले रहे हैं कि मतलब वहाँ आए और कुछ उसका जे भी भेज के या कुछ सेव करें लोगों को ऐसा कुछ नहीं है तो जिस समय ये बादल फटा आप लोग घर में ही मौजूद थे तो उस समय पे क्या हुआ मतलब बादल फटा आवाज आई फिर पानी का भाव आया यहाँ पे मलबा आया मैं समझ रहा हूँ आप तब सब लोग घर के अंदर थे बाहर कैसे निकले क्योंकि इस समय घर के अंदर बहुत पत्थर है हाँ जी तो जब जैसे इन्होंने बताया ये हमारे देवर हैं जिन्होंने ये बताया और ये जिनका घर है ये मेरे जेठ जी हैं तो इन्होंने बताया कि जैसे मड्डी वाटर की वो स्मेल जैसी आती है वो आई पहले और उसके बाद धीरे धीरे पानी की आवाज़ आई और पत्थर इन्होंने बड़े बड़े घरों के बराबर पत्थर जो है वो इन्होंने हवा में उड़ते हुए देखे नीचे आते हुए और फिर तब ये हमारा घर अगली साइड को है तो वहाँ ये लोग गए वहाँ थोड़ा ऊपर वाली मंजिल में चढ़े मेरी मदर चाची सास जो है वो कोमा में है उनको कैसे कैसे इन लोगों ने सब ने मिल के बाहर निकाला वो बिल्कुल उसमें डेथ बेड पे पड़ी हुई है तो ना लाइट ना कुछ नहीं तो उनको सरका घाट वो बेटी के घर शिफ्ट किया फिर जब वहाँ लाइट चली गई तो हॉस्पिटल शिफ्ट किया तो हम कैसी कैसी त्रासदी झेल रहे हैं ये हम लोगों को पता है और मैं तो बोलती हूँ कि जिसको पढ़ती है उसी को पता होता है बाकी किसी को कोई लेना देना नहीं होता हम लोग इस समय बहुत ही बुरी घड़ी से गुजर रहे हैं और हमारी मांग है आज माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी भी आ रहे हैं देखते हैं क्या करते हैं वो और वो भी मेरे ख्याल से यहाँ आके आंसू पहुँच के चले जाएंगे होगा कुछ नहीं झेलना तो हम लोगों को ही पड़ेगा Well, you see, there is absolute anger against the authorities over here. They say uh, we are the first ones to actually reach and take stock of the situation. No uh, rescue operation teams have come here. No mm -hmm. SDRF teams. No NDRF teams have come here. And uh, uh, Ridhima, just imagine what had happened on those uh, at, uh, on the morning of 18th of August. The entire family was actually inside the home when, in fact, uh, that cloud burst took place, and in fact, the entire water rubbles. stones actually came down rolling and in fact smashed this very home which you yeah. see on your screens uh, the family members also tell that uh, now most of the home has been emptied uh, mm -hmm. but earlier they uh, this entire room this in particular room was actually filled in with stones and so these stones you are looking these were all inside the home and still yeah. these are the family members and in fact the locals who are actually helping uh, them to actually um, mm. vacate this entire space because there are cracks in this home and in fact there is one more home which has been affected with also has multiple cracks both homes have been vacated okay. completely this entire village this entire panchayat hmm. has been vacated and what we are given to understand now for the very first time cm will be coming to this yeah. spot to take stock of the situation in fact what we are given to understand is also that uh, the locals have already complained okay. but no action was taken by any of the authorities yeah it's absolutely heart wrenching on multiple levels yash you continue to remain safe while you continue to get us voices that matter we're also getting a reaction coming in from the chief minister let's listen it abhi thoda thoda mausam khulna start hua hai aur rescue operation bhi chal raha hai sena lagi hai itpp lagi hai himachal police lagi hai prashasan laga hai jo dead body hai unko nikalne ka kaam ship body ka jisme ummeed hai ki kuch aur shab ho sakte hai wo chal raha hai जैसे जैसे धूप निकलती जाएगी हमारा काम तेज होता जाएगा 
बारह सौ के करीब रोड थे साढ़े पाँच सौ के करीब लैंडस्लिप्स में हमने रोड्स को निकाल दिया गया है